If you are a student or healthcare professional, you have come to the right place because today I'm going to teach you the three methods to heal a surgical wound. First is what we call the primary intention, otherwise known as the primary closure. This method involves directly closing the wound edges with uh, sutures, staples, or adhesive strips. And this is done immediately after surgery. This method is used for clean, straight incisions where the edges can be easily approximated. Healing is generally faster and results in minimal scarring. The second method is what we call the secondary intention. In this method, the wound is left open and uh, allowed to uh, heal naturally from the bottom up to the process of granulation tissue formation where the wound uh, grow a tissue that would fill the gap. And the second event would be what we call the wound contraction when the wound edges will um, approximate to reduce the size of the wound. And the third event is what we call the re-epithelialization where the wound edges will grow a new epithelium or epithelial tissue that would migrate to resurface the wound. So this approach is used for wounds that are large, contaminated, or at a higher risk for infection. Healing by secondary intention takes longer and may result in more noticeable scarring. And sometimes I've seen it a lot. It will, uh, it is vulnerable to forming what we call the hypertrophic scars, or sometimes it goes into what we call the keloid formation. Now, the third method is what we call the tertiary, uh, tertiary in fact, intention, or otherwise known as the delayed primary closure. This method is a combination of the first two. The wound is initially left open to allow for drainage and to ensure that there is no infection. After a few days, if the infection is present, the wound is closed surgically. This technique is used for wounds that are initially contaminated or at high risk for infection, but later deemed uh, clean enough for closures. Each method is uh, chosen based on the specific condition of the wound and the patient's overall health status and the risk for infection. Proper wound care is very crucial after surgery. I hope you learned something today. Have a great day.